What's up guys, welcome back to the Let's Play series. Today is episode 9, and we've got some plans today. We're getting a little, uh, some levels here at the AFK Fish Farm, letting our hostile and passive mob farms run. And we popped out of here a little bit ago, and I noticed something on the other side of the door. And I just want to bring you guys in and show you before we get this episode going. So it's pretty neat, check it out. Somebody left us a little note. Hello Zap, I'm Ekimo4. I'm a great fan of yours. You're really good at survival. I wish to play with you. I hope you accept my request. I never grief, and please add me after AFK. Well, first thing, Ekim, you're already a friend of mine, man, if you were able to join my world. I left it open uh, so people could join. I had a buddy of mine working on an iron golem farm. He was over here checking out my villager breeder. And uh, somebody stopped by and said hi. It's never happened to me. I don't know, that was that was kind of one of the coolest things I've seen. Somebody popping on, got a little bit of some, a fan base going. So thanks guys for the support and the love. That was awesome. Uh, let's see. Oops. <laughs> anyway, we've, we've done some work in between episodes at the hostile mob farm over here and the passive mob farm over here. We're having some issues with our item elevator. Oh man, it's been little bit of, or a lot of maintenance that I've been doing or taking care of off camera. So we also got us a, oh crap, let me shut this real quick. We got us a storage room going. And then we built us a little door so you'll come down and this is all you'll see here. And I'll mimic that over here eventually. But anyway, you press the button. Little 3x3 three three spiral piston door. And here we go, we have built a massive storage room. So we're storing all the passive mob drops, steak, pork chops, mutton, chicken, leather. A few of the different wool types, the pink wool I'm not keeping. And then in the hostile mob, we're collecting the gunpowder, bone, string, and then all the witch drops. So we've been letting this go for a bit. I've actually already taken the glowstone out that we've had. And uh... It's going. Our string supply is good. Our bones and gunpowder, I think, are in the third chest now. So this thing's producing for us. This, uh, that was the whole reason for that last episode. I wanted to get my wheat and, and potatoes and pumpkin and melon farm set up, but I got this going because my food situation was horrible. And not that I'll ever use all that white wool, but we got quite a bit. Good on leather. Chicken, not so much, but look at that, guys. Look at the pork chops, the steak. Our food situation is taken care of. Anyway, that's enough of that storage room. Let's see. No villagers have bred. We're having a problem. We haven't had any villagers breed. And this guy, I talked about him in the last episode. He was standing right behind here and I saw his arm poking through. So, I had to fill in the gaps back there. I don't know why. He glitched through, but there he was. And also, we removed this villager here, and we had to take him up there. Our detector villager either got killed or something. So a buddy of mine jumped on. We got him moved up there. It was some good times. <laughs> oh, villagers are always frustrating. So anyway, we are mimicking our storage room over here. We've got 19 rows of chests that are stacked six high, just like over there. And this is going to be for all of our our farms. So we're going to do wheat. We're going to go ahead and collect the seeds from it. I doubt we'll ever need them. Pumpkins, melons, potatoes, carrots, uh, sugar cane, and cactus. Now, I spent a little bit of time trying to figure out where I wanted to go ahead and put this, but uh, I'm not 100% sure yet. Before I get on that, I wanted to show you guys who I was working a little bit on this floor design here. But unfortunately, mobs are spawning, so we got to throw down the torches for now. This is still a work in progress. We'll get back to it. We're not we're not done by no means. So my plan is to come straight down here and have like a secret staircase, and then set up a beacon and just go ham on a nice big area. So <laughs> ah, I forgot about my redstone. Well, this might not work, but anyway, let's uh. There's the torches underneath there. It's kind of cool. Anyway, let's let's dig ourselves down here a ways, and we'll try to figure out where we're going to actually set this and how we're going to get down to it. 
So anyway, guys, I'd like to take this time to apologize for no video last week. Uh, Easter holiday, had to go spend time with the family. It's uh, the most important thing, family. So we didn't put up a video, or we didn't get our, our stuff done in time. We were doing a lot of stuff in between videos with getting item elevators sorted out and getting the mob farm sorted out. And uh, <clears throat> fixing our villager breeder. I have a, a sneaky suspicion that the reason the villager breeder isn't working for me now is because I've been I cycled through about 30 villagers and I don't think I'm killing them far enough away from what is considered the village. So where I set that drop shoot, I'm actually going to have to drop them into water and send them down a ways, and then go ahead and kill them. This way, I don't have to have this problem anymore. Oops, lava. I think I dug down one block too many. Anyway, we're going to poke around a little bit and try to find us a good area, hopefully with not too much lava. And I think this is an old mining tunnel, actually. One of my very first ones. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to try to find us an area down here somewhere, somewhere back. Maybe back this way, I don't know yet. Maybe back over here. We're going to set up a beacon. We're going to get digging out, get a staircase going. So that's why I was getting levels. I need some pickaxes made up. We got our beacon in our ender chest ready to go. So let me figure out an area, guys. Let me get this uh, dug out. Do some work. I'll come back to you guys here in just a second. Alrighty guys, we have been <laughs> crazy busy. So we built a staircase here. Um, I'll show you guys later where we come down in. We just come behind one of our staircases from the main building. But this is the area I've got dug out so far. So it's a 50 by 50 area. We've uh, started digging out over here and we ran into a big lava lake. So we've done a lot of filling in back there and we're just kind of working our way. Eventually we'll dig that out. You go away. <laughs> so we have got ourselves four full double chests of stone here. Uh, we've got a fifth one going right now. We've gotten ourselves quite a bit of granite, diorite, and andesite. A little bit of gravel and dirt. And a whole bunch of other miscellaneous uh, ores. And some slime balls. So anyway, we have... Hey, zombie. Get out of here. We've got ourselves an area dug out here. We've already uh, laid down where we're going to put some tracks. And this is our item elevator, or our uh, item stream for our hostile mob farm. So, like I was saying, we're going to lay down some tracks. This area is a 16 by 16. And, uh, oops. You come in here eight blocks from the, the corner like you saw me. Hold on, let me get some stone bricks laid down. And I'm going to show you guys on camera how to set up your uh, your minecart tracks going around. And so let's, uh, let's actually start out with some lights. So the lights aren't for uh, for the farm. They're for to creep uh, to keep like spiders and stuff from spawning underneath here because in a 1 by 2 area spiders can spawn and they haven't done away with the spawning on rails yet I've actually done some testing and mobs don't spawn on redstone any redstone items but carpets and rails they still spawn on so we're gonna go ahead and set up a couple of lights here this should be just enough to keep it from from spawning what you end up doing is you come in four blocks from the corner here. So that would three, four. And the fifth block you knock out and put you some kind of lamp. I'm using redstone lamps, but you can use anything. There we go. But uh, spiders can spawn in a one gap high by two block is two block area. And what they'll end up doing is uh, effectively stopping the minecart from rolling around in here. And we don't want that. So to lay out the rails, you just follow this pattern. You come in, hook a left, and just start working your way all the way around this 16 by 16 area. 
And we will need some power rails in here as well. We'll put those in in just a second. Actually, this isn't going to be enough uh, rails. So let me go grab some more rails and I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so we just got done crafting a whole crap load of rails. I actually used uh, six stacks of iron and a stack of sticks, and I think I've made way too many, but that's alright, that's alright. Anyway, we, we'd already hooked around and made it to the back here, and we're going to go ahead and start popping these in like so. So once you get to your rail here, that's when you hook back around and start making your way around to the other side. Now as far as your powered rails go, this is what I typically do for these farms here. Come straight out from this redstone lamp. And you don't have to put redstone blocks, but I don't know, I, I guess I'm rich. <laughs> Oops. This freaking beacon can be a pain. Let's see, there we go, there's our stone. So you could set down levers underneath or however you want to power them. Anyway, you come in about center between these two lamps here. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Anyway, you come about center. And of course, it's 16 by 16, so you're going to be a little off center. And just punch out your, your blocks here, set you some redstone blocks or however you want to put it. It could be uh, torches in the blocks. And then here you're on the other side of that, that center mark. So you got these like so, start laying down some more rails, powered rail here, oops missed one, and then in the back here you're going to need some more powered rails, we'll put those in in a second, and I forgot to place that one, oops, there we go, I hear you, I hear you, where you at, get out of here, ruining my video dude. And then here, you don't you don't want to go where I just went right here. That's actually wrong. You want to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, you want to stop <coughs> one shy of where that makes that turn. And I'll show you guys why here in just a second. There we go. Just slightly off-center, just like you did the other rows. And now... You want to go here as opposed to where I originally stopped it. And I'll show you why when we get done, you got to have your minecart come into that little area. <coughs> so a few more rails like so. Powered rail. Then you make your little turn here. This is a really easy design. I actually... Uh, I think I got this design a long time ago from Crew Productions. I can't remember. But I've used it in uh, every world since I first started messing around with these automated farms when we were finally had the availability of uh, automation with the villagers. Just checking my little screenshot here, making sure I'm placing these rails right before I... Oh, I should have checked that before I started the video. <laughs> So you're going to need to carry your powered rail line across a little bit as you start making this, uh, I don't know, clover shape around these uh, lamps here. Perfect. So this is going to get smaller and smaller as you move to the towards the center. But you just keep following this pattern back and forth from one end to the other. Actually, I think this is too many powered rails, but it doesn't matter. So now we're in the <coughs> center of this thing. Just place your rails like so. And this is why you have to leave this gap right here. And so you have a return to here. And now your minecart will go all the way across. It's picking up all the weed it can. And these lamps also double as a place to place your water. 
and I'll show you guys that here in just a second. So we need to go grab some dirt, fill this in, and continue on. So all right, we got the dirt placed. We actually found out that we needed to lower this one more block. So otherwise our uh, dirt, oops, fell in my little hole here. Come on. Otherwise our dirt would have been at this level right here. So we had to redo that real quick. Anyway, we need to make us a little infinite water source real quick. Oops, like so. And then like I said, these redstone lamps, you can now place your water in on top of those. And I need one more bucket of water real quick. Like so. That should be enough to uh, saturate all this soil and so you can start planting crops. Now as far as uh, these crops go, they do need light. And typically I build a ceiling above these, but this time I think I'm going to go a little different route and make this kind of look like a village in here. The only issue with that is I don't know if that's going to be enough light to, uh, or for the crops to grow, but it, I think it's going to look cool anyway. And we got wool, we might as well use it. These fence posts will also prevent the, uh, the villager that's going to be in here from falling into the water, and then when he would jump out, he would end up uh, wrecking the soil so you can't plant any more crops. And these slimes, man. <laughs> Get out of here, guys. You're annoying. I've got plans for possibly building a slime farm. I'm not 100% sure. We've actually collected quite a bit just by doing this right there. But I think we're going to end up slabbing this up. <coughs> That's why I'm filling in all the lava. Oh, dang it. <laughs> so we can... Uh, we, we got a neat little floor design I want to try out, but it requires wood. So, now the concern here is the lighting. We should be able to place some seeds down, and if they don't pop off, the lighting should be technically sufficient enough to grow the crop. So, that looks like it might be okay. It is kind of dark. I don't know, we'll have to play around with that here in a little bit. So, anyway, I don't want these seeds sitting down there. Let's see. I think I got everything I need in the chest here. So before we till the rest of this dirt and get the uh, seeds planted and get a villager down here, we want to get us a... Uh, hopper chain heading in this direction somewhere over here and set up an item elevator to take it to our new, new storage room and then this will be the hopper chain that we always hit for uh, the rest of our farms so to do one of these minecart unloaders they're very simple you simply place a comparator coming out of the hopper here which has an item in it you run that into Oh crap, I don't have any sandstone. We'll just use stone bricks. So you need that comparator running into a block with a torch on top. And then we simply just need a block on the side of that torch with some redstone dust on top of that. Now anytime an item, or the minecart passes over here, and items start flowing in there, you'll see the redstone turns off and the minecart will stay here unloading its items. Very, very simple system here. So when there's no items in the hopper, it'll send the minecart off to go do its thing. So we are going to get this hopper chain going, get some villagers going, or get a villager going, and I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, we uh, got us a villager down here we actually had to add some more lights the lights weren't sufficient enough to grow the crops we tested that out so we got this villager in here we grabbed him from our system we got our villagers breeding again just had to do some trading slapped them in a boat drug them down here 
Now, when building this farm, you're going to need 12 stacks of seeds. And you can kind of see the weed over there getting picked up right now. You can hear the minecart rolling. And there you go, you see him harvest some wheat. So the doors I just pulled out of the chest are actually, I had to disable my iron golem farm. Because it is actually like right up here. And this villager was trying to get to that village up here and was not doing his job. But anyway, like I was saying before, you need 12 stacks of seeds to get this farm going. You need to put 8 stacks of seeds in the villager's inventory and then plant all the crops inside here. This way he only collects the wheat, or I'm sorry, the seeds, and the wheat gets sent away. So... Um, we got our hopper chain all the way over here, and eventually we'll set up a dispenser. We've got it dug out for an item elevator over here. Looks like a ghost block. And for now, we just have a chest set up, and you can see some wheat starting to cl uh, collect. We are going to collect the seeds. Normally, I uh, uh, just dump those out, sort them out, and burn them. But this time, I think we're going to collect them. Don't think I'll need them for anything else, but why not? I've got 19 rows of chests. So, this was a shorter episode, guys. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Coming down this thing on a boat, that was a hilarity. I, I forgot to hit the record button, but anyway, uh, shorter episode. We've done a lot of off-camera work. We got this thing going. We're probably going to have to move our uh, iron golem farm. But, uh, hey, dude. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, it was shorter. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like. If you really liked the video, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Zap, and I will see you in the next episode.